right welcome back everyone so in this video we are going to do the configuration with respect to the brf c2 so let's go ahead and do the configuration so i will bring up my notepad and i will say that r1 so i will just do a copy paste of this one and now route distinguishing value brf's definition is c2 route distinguish value will be 200 is to 1 and I'm exporting and importing 200 is to 1. Next, E0 slash 1. I'm now doing E0 slash 2 on router. So this is the one. And this one is belongs to customer C2. And the IP address is 6.6.1. And no set BGP, we are BGP router, BGP 100. VRF will be C2 and this one will be 200.6.6.6. And customer if you see that BGPS number is also the same, 65,100. So that's the VRFC2 configuration. So let me go ahead and do that one on R1. Now let's configure the customer's edge, that is the R6. If I go back to my R8, I should have this configuration. I will copy this one. Right, so now config p e0 slash 0 it says that uh, 200.6.6.6 that is my ip address and i am saying that uh, i do have the 10.6.6.6 and i want to advertise 10.1.1.1 and my vgp is uh, 65001 i want to advertise 10.6 and 6 and i want to advertise 10.1 and 1 and my neighbor is 10661 so this is the configuration of R8, sorry R6. So let's go to R6 now. Once my interface is up and running, so I should form an BGP neighbor relationship. See that BGP is up. So let's go to R1 now. So if I say that do show BGP VPN before you make all. And now you can see that our distinguished value 200 is to 1 it is having now two routes. Now if I go to R4, so if I say that do show BGP VPN before unicast all, I don't see that 200 is to 1 because R4 is now neither importing neither exporting of the, sorry, not importing 200 is to 1. So that's the reason you're not able to see. So when we configure that VRF on that side, we should be able to see on R4 too. So now let's go ahead and configure on R4. So I will just do a copy paste of R1. So we are at C2, 200 is to 1, there is no change on this one and uh, C2 on this side, I am running 200.7.7, .7. I will say that 7.7.4 .7 on R4 and the remote AS will be 7.7.7 .7. and that's it, let's go ahead and do the copy paste of R4. So once I am doing this one now, I should see the route to show BGP VPN before unicast all. And now you see that I am importing 200 is to 1. That's the reason now I am seeing the routes. So let's configure the customer edge that is this uh, 7. Yeah, let's do a copy paste of R6. Uh, Now, okay, interface E0 slash 0, IP address will be 200.7.7.7. .7 and now I'm advertising 10.7.7.7. And this one is 10.222. And this one will be 10.7.7. And this one will be 10.22. And this one will be 7.7.4. Okay, so let's do the copy paste now on R7. Once my interface is up and running, I should form a BGP neighbor relationship. So once my BGP is up and running, and I should see that. So now on R7, I let me check whether I'm able to see the 10.6x and 10.11 routes or not. So if I say that do show IP BGP, you see that I'm still not able to see. Now the reason behind that one, as we as I explained on the previous uh, video, that it's because of the same autonomous system number. So let's go ahead and re resolve that one now. I will just do a copy paste. Uh, let me copy that one. Yeah, this one.
out of our BGP 100, the next hop will be 6.6.6 .6 and my VRF running is C2. Right, so let's copy this one and paste it on my R1 first. Okay. And let's do the same thing for R4. But R4, this one will be for 277. And paste it on R4. And now R7 and 8 should see the route. 6 and 7. Do show IP BGP. Or you can say do clear IP BGP star stop. But it can send a refresh message and do show IP BGP. And now I can see the route 6 and 1 coming in from R6. So let me go ahead and say that do ping 10.6.6.6 with source to back 0 and do ping 10.1.1.1 with source to back 0. And let me also do trace route to 10.6.6.6 with source to back 0. And now you can see that my SP core is running the MPLS and my traffic is being forwarded on MPLS. Now at this point of time, what we have achieved is that both the customers R5 is able to communicate with R8 and also R6 is able to communicate with R7. So we have achieved the MPBGP requirement. Now the next thing will be in the next video, what we are going to look is that how to do the route leaking. This is the topic we will be looking into in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.